Before plotting the boundary layer graph, we will see how to plot vectors in Paraview. Select the slice one and click on Glyph. Click on Apply. Here you can see that arrows have been created on the slice. But these arrows are too big to understand anything. We can change the size of the arrows. Scroll down and select the scale factor of 0.01. Click on Apply. Now if you zoom in, you can see the velocity vectors inside our pipe. Velocity vectors show us the direction of the flow. It is showing us that the flow is going from left to the right in positive x direction. But currently it is showing us the vectors for pressure. We want to view the vectors for velocity. So we will select the glyph vector option and click on rescale. Now you can see the vectors for velocity. You can see that the velocity at the inlet of the pipe is around 3.7 and now as it is progressing along the pipe the velocity is increasing at the middle section of the pipe. This is in accordance with the boundary layer theory. Boundary layer theory tells us that the velocity at the walls of the pipe is zero and the velocity at the middle of the pipe is maximum. So we must be able to see a parabolic type of graph if we want to plot velocity with respect to the positive y or z direction. We can even turn on our geometry which is case.phone. We will be able to see the pipe. To view inside the pipe, scroll down and reduce the opacity to 0.3 press enter. Now you can see the geometry of pipe as well as the vectors inside the pipe. These are some simple techniques of post-processing in Paraview.